Hi everyone, so I thought I would have a little rummage around my beauty stash for my top five favourite beauty multitaskers and I found them, they are awesome, they do more than their fair share of work. Some of them are two in ones, three in ones, even four in ones, so let's do this. I think I'm going to start with probably what is the most multitasking beauty product of them all. Elizabeth Arden 8 Hour Cream Skin Protectant. I have had this for a very, 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 very long time and used it basically all up, but it's just the gift that just keeps on giving because it's still some in there. I remember that back in the day I bought it because apparently Rachel Bilson was a fan and it was when I was having an extreme, the OC loving face, so I just had to pick it up. But it is really incredible and I can see why Rachel just loves it so much because I use it for so many different things. Its number one use is as a kind of dry skin saviour, so dry patches, you just put this on and it kind of soothes. Get rid of the dryness and things will look all smooth by the morning and I actually use this on my ears. I get psoriasis on my ears and what I tend to do is rub away my dry skin with a damp towel, kind of gross but it really gets the job done. Then I put some of this on and it really helps to keep it at bay, keep it quite calm and leave things looking a lot less red and irritated. But then I also like it as a cheek highlighter because it's just got that kind of sheeny, balmy thing going on, it's not too tacky. It looks really amazing just on top of your cheekbones like you would just put a normal powder highlighter. And if you're not a fan of shimmer, this is a good way of highlighting and just looking quite glowy instead of looking really glittery. It also works really well as a lip balm and that's what it sits on the edge of my bedside table for, but also as a mixing medium. So say you've got a matte red lipstick but you just wanna make it a little bit glossy, you can always just pop a little bit of this and that on the back of your hand, mix it up and you've got a kind of like tinted lip balm mix going on. So it'll just make everything look a little bit glossier. And breathe, <laughs> you get the idea there. It's just a very uber multitasking product that is amazing to have in your stash. And I really need to pick up a new one of that. Moving on to body and I picked out this. It's from Imperial Leather and it's their Foam Burst Luxurious Body Wash. And I have this in the scent Moisturizing Honey and Almond Milk, which smells in Incredible. It smells almost good enough to eat. But this is a great two-in-one because of its formula. When you pump it out of the bottle, it comes out as a gel. And then magically in your hand, it turns into a foam, this really nice luxurious lather. So it works really nicely as a shower gel. It feels very cleansing on the skin and whenever I come out, I feel very nourished and moisturized. But because of that foamy texture, it also works really well as a shaving foam. Now I've never been one to have a shaving foam in my shower along with a shower gel as well. I just find it too much of a faff. But the fact that this does both in one has made it a bit of a staple in my shower of late. <laughs> and I've just had a little read here that apparently there are 40 showers per can, which is good because I think Mark has secretly been using this behind my back. Let's talk hair for a bit, shall we? And something that I find to be an amazing multitasker and a must have in my hair care routine is a volumizing dry shampoo. And this one is from Macadamia really liking this one actually, but I really like the Batiste volumizing one, the Obey dry texturizing spray, they're all much of a muchness, but this one doesn't turn white and is very fine, it doesn't leave your hair feeling too matte and dry. But a good volumizing dry shampoo will do three things. For me, day three hair is like, Anna, you really should have washed your hair yesterday, it's looking pretty rank. <laughs> but normally a good dry shampoo can turn my third day hair into second day hair. So not only does it refresh, it also adds a bit of volume, which I really need, especially in the root. And it's quite nice just to add volume in this way, because then you can just put it exactly where you need it. If you want more at the crown, you can just add some there. If you need some more at the front, you can just spray it on. So I kind of like that spot treatment for volume that you can do. And then also you can spray it through the lengths and get a bit of texture going, which is what I've done today. A great three in one and one of very few styling products that I actually bother to use in my hair. Moving on to makeup, and even though I'm not a powder girl, even I can admit that a transparent loose powder comes in very handy indeed. And here I have the By Terry Hyaluronic Hydra Powder and the Makeup Forever HD High Definition Powder, which are both two that I use. Now the obvious use for these is to mattify the complexion, and usually I just take quite a small fluffy brush, like one that I would use for contouring, dip it in the top, wave it in the air to get like the majority of the product off and then dust it down my t-zone because 
otherwise things can get a little bit greasy round here. But I do also like to take some on an even smaller fluffier brush just over the eyelid because I find it works really nicely as an eye primer, especially if I've kind of accidentally gone over my eyelids with foundation. It just kind of adds that like middle layer and gives something for the shadow to stick to. But probably my favourite use of all is to use it as a mattifier for lipstick. So say you've got a quite nourishing, like slightly glossy looking red lip, but you quite fancy it to be matte. I just take a tissue, put it over the top and kind of blot off the majority, and then take some powder over the top of that tissue. So it's kind of like a double blotting step. And when you remove the tissue, you'll be left with a super matte lip. Learned that one from the queen that is Lisa Eldridge, and it's a genius makeup move. Then rounding off my top five multitaskers is a product that is probably one of the grimmest looking in my stash, but it gets used every single day and it's a clear mascara. This one is from The Body Shop and it's their brow and lash gel, but normally I just pick up the cheapest one that I can find in Boots or Superdrug, which is I think the MUA Clear Mascara, which is a pound, and Miss Sporty Do one that's like one or two pound as well, because I do tend to remove a lot of the product off of the brush before I use it for its plenty of uses. So that way I don't feel like I'm wasting too much if it only costs me a pound if I'm putting a lot of it onto tissues anyway. Use number one is the one that I use it for the most and that is as a brow setter. So normally once I've done my brows with something like the Hourglass Arch Brow Sculpting Pencil, which is what I use today, or maybe MAC Omega, I use that quite a lot, just an eyeshadow. I do like to set them, especially if I'm gonna go out and about because the amount of times I just go like that and all of a sudden my brows like half over my face. It's just not a good look. So I do tend to do that. And like I said before, I tend to get a tissue and just take off the majority before I go in so things don't look too crispy. Something that I like to use it for at the weekends is as a clear mascara. I literally will just put a tiny bit of this onto my lashes and onto the bottom lashes and it doesn't really do much. It's one of those things that probably you can tell it's there and everyone else will be like, you look exactly the same. But for me, it just adds a tiny bit of definition. And then the final use is as a flyaway tamer. So again, I would suggest taking off the majority of the product with a tissue so there's just the tiniest amount of product left on the actual spoolie. And then I just take it, see, oh, I've got these crazy curls here. And if I've got my hair up, they just look a bit crazy. So I just like to kind of slightly brush that through and it just works as a super maximum hold hairspray. <laughs> Sounds crazy, but try it, you'll be surprised. So those were my top five multitasking beauty bits and I'd be really intrigued to know what your favourite do-it-all product is because I love a good two-in-one, three-in-one, four-in-one, love them. But thank you so much for watching and I'll be back on Sunday with a brand new video. See you then, bye.